Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the mistakes that made Tony Stark even stronger so. Without further ado, let's start. So let's start with the Iron Man 1 movie. So when he crashed his suit and had no way to escape from the desert than to improve this, he had a GPS to all of his suites so that he and his friends and family do not get lost like him. And we saw this first in the Spider-Man Homecoming when Peter got to know that he has a tracker on his suite. It can be that he has done it to have a look at Peter, but maybe the idea was from here on. Next is also from the Iron Man 1 movie about his suit's icing problem, which means that if he gets into the sky very high, the suit gets frozen. To fix this problem, Tony used gold titanium alloy, which has a very low freezing point. Next is from the Iron Man 2 movie in which he didn't have his suit to fight with Whiplash, and he had to wait for a very long time for his Mark V suit to arrive there. Through Pepper Potts to fix this problem, at first he made a Mark VII armor, which we first saw in Avengers, one which was controlled from a leg bracelet. So if somebody had the bracelet, then he can recall the armor, but in the Infinity War, he made a suit which had nanoparticles in it, which made him a walking suit. Next is also from the Avengers 1 movie in which when Thor blasts his lightning onto Iron Man's armor, then his suit gets 300 charged up. But he didn't have a way to use that much power which was fixed in the Mark 85 armor, which we saw in the Avengers Endgame in the suite he made a lightning focus, which can convert Thor lightning blast into a very powerful blast which he used on Thanos. Next is also from the Avengers 1 movie when Tony was taking the missile to the Shaturi ship. Then he was safe at the very last moment and to fix this, he made the Mark 42 armor in Iron Man 3 movie in which he can recall his suit, but also he can use his parts of the armor differently. Next is also from, from Avengers 1 movie, in which when Avengers were fighting with the Chai Chuari force, Tony realizes that only Avengers cannot save the whole planet. So to fix this, he made his whole army of Iron Man, which we saw in Iron Man 3, he called this Army Iron Legion, which was controlled by his artificial intelligence and him. But even after this, Tony realizes that even this is not enough so. To fix this, he made Ultron in the Avengers the Age of Ultron. But this plan backfired on him and the Avengers team. Next is from the Avengers 1 movie. Tony realizes that the amount of strength Hulk is very high but it is uncontrollable, and he understood the fact that Hulk can also turn against the Avengers. So, to fix this, he made a Hulkbuster suite from this. We can see his intelligence of Tony because he thinks way ahead if there wouldn't have been a Hulkbuster suite. Then I don't think that any Avenger could have stopped it. Next is from Iron Man 3, in which we see that even after using so much power of his suits and blasts, he still was not able to fight Aldrich Killian. So, to fix this, he made extra blasters in his Mark 50 suit in the Avengers Infinity War with his nanotechnology, which can get out from the suite and fight the opponent. Next is from Iron Man 3, where Tony's suite gets discharged and he was barely safe from the cold. So to fix this, he added a heater into Peter's spider suit in Spider-Man Homecoming, in which we see that Peter had a cold, but his suit instantly dries him. Next is also from Iron Man 3 movie, in which we see that when Tony gets kidnapped by Aldrich Killian, then he still had to wait for his suite to arrive to fight with him so to fix this Tony. Made a nano blaster in his suit so that he can defend himself in these situations. Next is also from Iron Man 3, in which Tony and Pepper almost died in the house attack, from which Tony made a suit for Pepper Potts named Rescue, which we saw in the Avengers Endgame. Next is from the Captain America Civil War movie, in which he realized that he had to use both his hands and legs to fly, leaving him vulnerable so to fix this. He added stabilizers in the suite so that he can fight with his hand. Next is also from the Captain America Civil War movie in which, after the airport battle, Captain America was leaving with the jet and they were unable to catch Captain America. So to fix this, in Infinity War, he made a very powerful thruster that can even race a spaceship. Next is also from the Captain America Civil War movie in which, when Vision hits Rhodes by mistake and gets seriously injured then to fix this, he added a parachute in Peter's suite. Next is also from the Captain America Civil War movie in which his aiming system gets damaged, and he had to aim by himself then to improve this. He added auto, aiming missiles in the Infinity War movie suite in which he only has to give a command. 
Next is also from the Captain America Civil War movie in which we see that Ant-Man gets into Tony's suite and damages it causing his suit to not work properly. Then he made a nanoparticle suite with no gaps so that nobody can get into his suit. Next is from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie in which we see that Peter has good strength but sometimes needs stabilization. So to fix this, he adds the artificial arms of a spy. Next is also from the Captain America Civil War movie in which we see the fight between Captain and Tony fight in which Tony was a little less strong than Captain America. So to fix this, he adds close combat weapons in his Infinity War suit. Next is from Avengers Infinity War that when Tony, Peter, and the Guardians were unable to take off the gauntlet from Thanos. So, to fix this, Tony made a gauntlet in which he used nanoparticles because of which in the endgame he was able to take the stones from Thanos in the Avengers endgame and not the whole gauntlet. So these were all the mistakes that made Iron Man stronger every time because Tony always learns from his mistakes. So if you liked this video, then make sure to drop a like and comment any mistakes of Tony that I forgot to add in this video, and to be updated with the cinema industry, you can also subscribe. Thanks for watching.